guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun video for you. I went shopping on Amazon for wedding dresses. This time, because I have another video of this, which I'm gonna link at the end, but this time I went shopping on the US Amazon site because I live in Canada and I had them shipped to Canada so I could give you even more variety. If that's not dedication, I don't know what is. If you like this video and you like me, then why not check me out on Instagram? I'm at DIYDelia with an underscore at the end. So let's get into it. First, I just wanna say all these dresses are under $130 and they're all linked down below in the description box. Let's get to the first dress. Okay, so this is the first dress up. I like this dress in general. I'd say so I'm usually a size dress size four or six and this fits perfectly. The detailing on the front of the dress is really pretty. I love the back detailing that has the little ties. I think that's pretty cute. I love the way that the bottom flows and I hope you can see that but it flows really pretty. It's beautiful. I'd say the only thing about it that I don't love is the straps. They're very tight and awkward in how they come in. And I almost wish that the dress had really long straps that went down to here. That would be a more flattering cut on the arm as well. I'm not sure why they didn't do that. Like I'm also tall, so I'm 5'8", for height reference. And I think maybe if I was 5'6", 5'4", 5'6", yeah, I'd probably need to get this hemmed. But maybe this strap issue wouldn't be as much of an issue if that was the case because I feel like I'm quite long that's why it's like pressing a little bit tightly I also thought like could this work as a strapless dress but I don't think that'll work just because it would put too much pressure on these straps to really carry the weight because the back is really low but yeah it's a really good fit I love the way that it looks and so I'm gonna rate this one an 8 out of 10 I think it's beautiful for someone on a budget for under $100 what do you guys think you like this one first one up Okay, into the second dress. This dress was the most expensive one of the haul, coming in at $129.99 US dollars. So, this dress is too small. It almost zips the whole way up. There's like a part that doesn't zip. These kind of beads, the pearls that you're supposed to thread, like there's no way these are, they just, I don't think it's possible for me to even button them, even if I could, <laughs> because I can't button them myself. It's definitely just too small. But nonetheless, I love the bottom of this dress. It's the right height, so it's fine for tall girls. 5'8", probably 5'9", you're still good. Anything shorter, you need to get it hemmed. The bottom is sewn really beautifully. It flows really beautifully. It's actually really stunning in that sense. So when you take a look at the actual front detailing of the dress, from afar it actually looks quite pretty. The only thing that starts to look a little bit cheap is the detailing right around the top of the lace. That looks a little bit cheap. It also is a teensy bit scratchy right in here, but I'm not sure why actually, because it's just lace and then some pearls, so it shouldn't really be, but it is. Also, this would be nicer if instead of being in white, like this piece right across the front of the chest, if instead of being white, it was like a nude color or if it just didn't exist at all. The back of the dress is really pretty though. It is pretty, I didn't notice. If this all did up properly, it would look so nice. I like the way the lace looks here. It looks really elegant, doesn't look cheap at all. It's just this one bit right here that looks cheap. And other than that, it doesn't at all. It doesn't look super cheap either, guys. Just like a teensy bit, just like, just this much. So I would probably rate this if this fit me properly. So I probably needed a size up, a size six. I would probably rate this a six and a half out of 10. Like it is really pretty actually. For being on such a budget and so inexpensive, I think it is nice, it's just there was just a few corners cut. Like if they just changed a few things, it would be like right up there, you know? Let's just take a moment here. Breathe in, breathe out. What is going on here? Please tell me, what is this? Okay, I already thought this one was like a little out there because of this tuft thing, but I thought, you know, maybe it's a mo maybe it's a look. It's like a historic slash modern because it's historic look. And I thought that could be kind of cool. You know, it's someone's style out there. But uh, what is this? 
what why who who would do this i just who would wear this so i didn't button up the whole back but it, this one would fit a little bit about this one i like the color i like the underlay that's you know it's th that stuff's all nice the bottom is pretty nice but not as nice as the last dress i do like the way this tool is structured like i think that's really soft and nice and it's also there in the back um and i think the back would actually be fairly pretty i also do like the lace detailing right here in the front and in the back I think that's really pretty. I think this thing is actually just weird. It's just not done symmetrically. It's like short here and longer here. So, yeah. Obviously the main really horrible thing about it is the cups. Like, why are they white? No one's white. Even if you're light, this is the wrong color. Cups aren't even like sewn in properly because they're not the same. They're like, they can move around a teensy bit. They're not like sitting perfectly symmetrically even. So I just think the cups are bad. I feel like if they had delicately placed some lace there and removed the cups, that actually would have been so pretty and remove this thing. Here's the next question. Can you DIY this into being something pretty? And I bet you could. If you got rid of those fluffs and then you added your own lace appliques, I feel like that would look so nice. As such, I'm gonna have to rate this as is, like a one. Like, I, I would cry if I had to wear this. I, I think is not a good one. Next dress. Okay, dress number four. This dress is $107.99 in a size four, and the color is apparently ivory, but it looks pretty white to me. I'd say there are some things I love about the dress. I love the general structure of the dress. I love the length. I love the bottom. Hopefully you can see the bottom. There's a train as well. But yes, I like the train. You see that? Beautiful. I like the lace detailing at the top and just in general the fit of it is wonderful it's exactly my size the length is right everything i wish this mesh panel in the center was nude i think that would just like make it much more sophisticated i also don't quite like this belt because the belt is very cheap looking. <laughs> like I wish it just like continued on from the lace down and then just transitioned nicely. I'm also not the biggest fan of these vines, like the lace vines going down. They look just kind of like randomly placed and not subtle and just kind of weird. I don't like that. But the thing I definitely don't like the most is the bra cups so these aren't even in place properly like they can move around and so they would need to be properly secured in place and also just the white factor it looks a little bit weird it's just kind of weird i think if you got this i would have to say i would have to customize it once again i thought i wondered whether you could take this out like this padding all together you can't because it is quite sheer i tried but you could take some of these appliques and add them on like maybe some of the ones from the bottom and make the vines go down just like a little less i also think that the uh, detailing on the straps is really really pretty and it actually lays pretty nicely which is unusual and even the fit in the back is really nice which also isn't very usual for me so i love it i also like the where they've sewn the stitching here and here there's no boning in it but it looks like there is, and I like that trend actually. It's quite fashionable. Yeah, so I think this has a lot of potential, okay? As is, it's actually still pretty. So as is, I would still rate it because of the fit, because of everything, just like with a little, you know, tuck here, replace these cups, which you can get for like 15 bucks at a fabric store. I think this is probably, an eight and a half out of ten i think you could actually make this a 10 out of 10 like i am a diy channel so there's that so in my mind that's just where i start going you could make this a 10 out of 10 i think you could take some of this lace detailing kind of seam rip it and remove the lace and add it to the bottom here make these vines a little more natural looking replace these cups which are white and then if you wanted to go like the extra mile which i probably would I would change this mesh strip to be a nude color. 
And I think with all those things, this dress would be like a 12 out of 10. So those are my thoughts, okay? Do I like it? Yes, I do. I think it's a nice dress. For Amazon, for $108, like it's, it's pretty good. Okay, this is dress number five. This dress was $69.99. I got it in a size four in the color ivory. Although this is pure white. I don't know why this is considered ivory. This is white. So I have mixed emotions about this dress. I feel like it had a lot of potential, but it just fell short. Literally, it is short, it's too short for me. <laughs> you can see my toes peeking out, but that's not really the problem. There's like another layer underneath, everything on top of it's see-through, and you can see my feet like from that layer. So it's just kinda, you can, it's obviously too short. Um, I do think that the detailing in the front is nice. Like it's, it's decently well done. I like that it's gradual and added the appliques in a nice random kind of way. I can't say that it's actually good quality because I have seen quite a few little like threads and stuff just hanging out here. I don't know, maybe 20 maybe that I can see or that I've seen already. This actually has white cups as well, but you can't really tell in this one for some reason. I think because there's a lot more lace overlaid in that area, so it doesn't look weird. I think this one was close, but it's a miss. <laughs> in addition to the fact that it's short, the design from afar is actually okay. But if this, like, let me unzip it for a second. So if this sat like much lower, I can't even get it to sit that low. And if the V went low, like till here, it would be so pretty. I also don't think there's like a lot of layers of tulle, so it's not very flowy and poofy. It's more like flat laying and quite a line, but not poofy at all. So I'd say overall, this is rated a full, mm, a three and a half maybe. I just think the poor workmanship has a lot of potential, but often you don't get rated because of your potential. You get rated because of how you deliver and this just isn't delivering. I, I couldn't wear this. I don't know how you could wear this. Okay, so dress number six. I got this for $39.99 in a size medium, and this color is white. And it's not too small, cause like it's quite stretchy and stuff. Like it's not too small, it's just that it's way too short. Like for this to look good, it'd need to be like five inches longer. That's, that's how I feel about it. I do like the fact that it's like off shoulder. I think that's really cute. But even the proportions of this, like this should actually be like up here, which I guess I could wear it like that, but then it doesn't quite fit super tight in here. I don't know, I just think it's like too, it's meant for someone shorter. So I feel like if you were maybe, so I'm again 5'8", so maybe if you were like 5'2", and really petite, and this is like your boho style, it would be good. But again, even like the sleeves are a pinch too short. The lace detailing on it is pretty nice. So, I'm gonna rate this one for me. For me, I was so excited about it too. It's probably like a four. If I was 5'2", and this was long enough, and it was, you know, it had all the, I feel like this could be like an eight, maybe but I'm not. So this one was prime free shipping, so you can test this out. In fact, I think most of the ones I ordered were prime free shipping if you live in the US. But again, I don't, so I had to pay for that shipping all the way to Canada. Let me know down below what your favorite was because I'm really curious whether people have the same taste as me or different. Um, all of these dresses are linked down below. They're all, I believe, Amazon Prime free shipping in the US, so no harm if it's your wedding. Trying them out, seeing what you like. And yeah, if you like this video and you like me, why not check me out on Instagram at DIYDelia with an underscore at the end, or you know, subscribe to my YouTube because then you'll get more content like this on a weekly basis. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye!